Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing part two of a massive Dollar Tree haul with, uh, I had uh, Christmas gift giving in mind, DIYs in mind, paper crafting in mind, you name it. When I went, I didn't plan to get as much as I got, but the manager said things are flying off these shelves and you better get it if you want it. They've had a crazy, she said they've never had crafting at this, people crafting at this store, buying it like they have. So I was like, oh, I was kind of getting worried. Uh, so I did get a lot of stuff. This is not a normal way I shop for Dollar Tree, but I have a lot of projects in mind. And like I said, so I'm gonna jump into part two here. I'm gonna just pick up this bag here. Hopefully this one won't be as long, you guys, but we'll see. So I got three of these cones, the foam cones. So this one, you get one piece. This is 9.5 by 3.5. So it's a big one. So I got, I got one of those. I think, I don't remember having that size. And this one's only one. I got it in the 5.9 by... 2.3 and then this one you get three and it's in the 4.3 by two inch so that's a really nice size so I got those don't want to throw those in the box okay I got in the last haul I showed this but I just found the other bag another bag of the decorative uh, shred iridescent another bag of that all right I have food items I'll just show last because not everyone likes to see the food. Okay, I got two splatter screens. I got two of those. Four DIYs, but if not, they keep bacon, grease, from splattering on you so one can go out in the trailer and one can go in the house because I don't have any, but I have DIYs in mind. <laughs> They're all purpose. All right, I showed some laser cuts in my last haul and I see I got two of the snowmen. I did not mean to do that, but I, so I have two, so 12 pieces of those. In my last haul, I showed, and I'm just gonna grab one right now. I showed, in case you, you didn't see the first one, I got eight of these reindeer, these uh, standing wood reindeer. They're a good size too. But for my project, I also saw these. And I'm going to come up with a DIY with them. So I got two of these. They're the Rocking Santa Sleigh. So I got two of those. Yeah. So they're MDF, but they're not. Yeah. I don't think they're real wood. Pressed wood. I don't think they're MDF. I think they're pressed wood. Anyway. Got those to go with that project, but the other the other video is just getting way too long. Okay, uh, since I have all the stickers and that kind of stuff here right now, I'm just gonna show it. There are Christmas, there are just paper crafting. I got this, it's wall art holiday menu for a DIY, and it's that chalkboard, so I got something planned for that. I finally found these, you guys, and there are a couple finally found them I could not find them and then when I saw other they were just word there's Dixie that one's Dixie that just walked by uh, they had the other word ones and I'm like I just flipped through just to see and these were at the back so they may have been there before and I just didn't catch them but anyway love these uh, rub on transfers this is I wanted this set so bad so I got two yeah so 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 happy I got this Dear Waller, it's iridescent glitter. I love, love, love that one. Love that. I got that. I got, well, that's not stickers. We'll just show that after. Since we're on stickers, I'm trying. Found these. These ones are so cute. And I thought for quick birthday cards, you know when you just, you don't have a card, you don't have time to make them even though you should have them, I, sh I should have them pre-made, like my husband always says, pre-make them. Anyway, for a quick one, you don't wanna get all your stamps out, I love these. So they've got sentiments, all different kinds of sentiments. You can see them there, I think. 
and then hello there and it's got the barn board behind the the white and the regular wood barn board love that that's so me and it's got like that shabby chic you can clearly see here i'm into shabby chic <laughs> so yeah and then this one I really liked. You can also see I'm into, um, my husband has a sawmill and we, we burn wood and everything. So I'm into all things wood, always have been. So look at, they look like the wood cut cookies. Look at that. And they've got all kinds of sentiments, good vibes, beautiful soul, beautiful day, positive thoughts, good vibes. So yeah, I had to get those because of that. I got those. Then, I don't know how well this is going to show. I do have a red envelope. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I don't have paper here. Okay. So I got these for... Uh... Where are they? Okay, for some projects. Where are they? I'm trying to get them all organized, you guys. I'm sorry. Okay, so I got these. Oh, they remind me... So, so much of Graphic 45. So much. I love vintage Christmas, okay, you guys? They're glitter embossed stickers, but look. It's so about the glare. I thought it was going to go. It's so, so vintage. So vintage. Oh, look at that. Oh, absolutely love it. So that's that sheet. I could only find three different sets in these. If there are more, please let me know. I will try and find them. Here's the second set. Look at, I love vintage Santa. Sorry. Look at the doves and the bells. This is just so my child. Oh, I love this. <gasps> Look at the birdhouse. So I got that one. And this one looks like, it's not cut out like a postage stamp, but we could easily make it one. So I got that. And then the last one I found, like I said, I only found three different. If there's more, please tell me. Love these. Sorry about the glare. Again, look at him. I love that Santa. I love him. And those candles. My grandma always had those. Yeah. So I love that so, so much, you guys. Love everything about that. Got those. All right. I got... These stickers, I just couldn't leave them behind. They're all dog sayings. Aren't they so cute? Little doggy sentiments and dogs. I got those. Speaking, no, actually, I'm not going to show that because she'll know it's for her. <laughs> so I can't show that. I got more of these. This time I got... This is where I need some white. So this time, these stickers, I showed them last time, you guys. Still only can find them in the gold. I did not see the unicorn. I don't know if you can see it through there. Yeah, you can. I did not see the unicorn set the last time. So I got that one. Look at that. I love, I do like that. I do like the ice cream cone castle. So anyway, I got that one because I didn't have it. The I didn't get it the last time. And then I got more of these. Uh, you've all seen them, but okay, the happy birthday set, the flowers, the deer head, the birdcage one, the bird bike, oh, I got two of those ones, I didn't mean to get two of those ones, I meant to get the ones with the butterflies, but I didn't. So there are a butter, there is a butterfly set, but that's okay. So I got those. And I, so there are the other points that is, there's like a mint green, an off white, and a red. I got them last year on clearance, actually. I didn't see them at the store when it was Christmas, and then when I went in, they were in the clearance section. So I got mine for 50 cents, so I didn't get more, but I did see them in silver. So I did get them in silver. There's six. So, so pretty. I got those. More stickers. More stickers. I got 
these ones, I haven't seen these ones yet, doesn't mean I'm just so behind the videos, you guys, so it doesn't mean you guys haven't just shown them, but these are gemmed foil stickers, love the sayings, anyway, I'm just going to show you, so you've got like a wreath, the, the banner, oh, sorry about my glare, you guys, so little snowmen, aren't they adorable, super cute, and so I got that one in the silver, they also had, well, maybe that was the only silver set I could find, okay? They do have them in gold. This one's my favorite because of this. Look at, there's a little gingerbread boy and a little gingerbread girl. December 25th, there's trains, the gingerbread house. So, yeah, I this was my favorite one. I got that. Then they had it with, like, a Santa... A Santa type theme. So you get Santa and some more sings and, and a little cute, oops, sorry about the glare, cute reindeer there. The sleigh. So got that. I think that was it for that those type, I believe. There might be more, but I also found these rub-on transfers. I did get the words. I didn't think I did. I did. In the words again quick card rub-ons are very easy to use and they show you in the back different projects you can use I'm always looking for words big words I have the Tim Holt sheets but I'm always looking for big sentiment type words so I thought that I'd love it if they had these in stickers but rub-ons are good use those this is another vintage totally reminds me of graphic now graphic 45 paper crafting but back in the day and you get seven pieces of these and look at look at you guys look at the wreath um my, my lighting's not good my light went off um it says a bright christmas this christmas tide i can't even see that happiness anyway these ones are puffed out oh, they're just so beautiful they make they'll make beautiful cards they'll make beautiful projects diys so i got that and I think that's it for stickers. I did get a lot of the laser wood cut uh, type stickers because I have a lot from last year, but I did get these because of these three little guys or girls, if I make them girls, and then three sluts. So yeah, I got those. Super cute. And now we're just kind of all over the place, okay? <laughs> I needed one of these. I was making gravy and I don't know. I don't know. I found my other one downstairs in our furnace. So I have two freezers, our furnace room, and we keep like firewood in there and cat litter. This was on the floor down there. And it was a good one. And I was so upset, but it can't come back to the kitchen. So my kids were probably sifting something over the summer. I went to make gravy the other day and I wanted to straight, you know, anyway, needed another one of those. Enough said about that. <laughs> another one of these pearl masks for a gift basket. Speaking of gift baskets, I got two of these exfoliating bath gloves. And these ones are, oh, they're not the charcoal ones. They had them. They had charcoal infused ones as well, but they didn't have packaging. And I thought for gift giving, I'd rather them be in the package. That's why. And speaking of the baskets, I got two. Black, I figure, goes with everything. Different people like different color sets. So I figured I wanted them in gray, but they had no gray. So I got two pairs of the black. And these are really cozy slippers. They have a bit of a grippy on the bottom. For buck twenty-five, for a little cozy pair of slippers after you get out of the tub or the shower, I got two for the baskets. Then I got the bay leaves in this, I don't, it's not iridescent, just a glittery white. I absolutely love that. They remind me of, there's a round plant and they're like this and they're like paper and I love them and I never know the name of them. They remind me of that. Uh, and you can try them. Now, in my clearance section, you guys, they had, where are they? Yeah, here's clearance ones. They had the red buffalo check for 50 cents snowman hat. And then they had it in the, the red buffalo check and then the black and white. 50 cents. 
It's because it's missing the handle and the tag. But you know what? I actually didn't find these ones too, uh, too other than uh, the top not being there, too badly damaged. Because when I was looking, I actually got one, and I really had to look through them to get a nice, decent one. So for 50 cents, I'm not worried about the handle. So this one I did pay to buck 25 for, but I got them in the clearance section. I got these queen size pantyhose. I don't wear pantyhose ever anymore. Haven't in years and years and years. I got these for a project. So that's why I got them at the Dollar Tree. I got these magical adhesive dots. So they still have the name brand ones there and I have them downstairs. They're called dots and you get, I tried to remember in my head, I think it was 36 or 37 pieces in theirs. You get 72 in the Crafter Square one. So I'm gonna try them. I can't see them being any different and you get way more, pretty much, yeah, double. So yeah, why wouldn't you get these ones? So hopefully they're the same. I found these. So my friend Donna hauled these in yes, her Dollar Tree haul on her Creative by Nature DIY channel. I'll link it down below. She's got two if you want to check her other one. She's Art and Life and uh, her DIY and decor type channel. The Dollar Tree haul is in the on her DIY channel. So definitely go check it out. She's also, do, you watch that video because she's also doing a gnome challenge. If you guys are into gnomes, you guys should all do it. And you don't even have to have a YouTube channel. You could do it and put it up on uh, Instagram. So definitely go check uh, my friend out. Anyway, she hauled these and I wanted them so, so bad. They had them. I didn't see them in the Christmas section. I actually was, I looked up for something and they were in the craft section on the top shelf. So I got two of those. So thank you so much, Donna, for that. Okay, this is just all food. I will show all that last because some of you guys might want to click out, but I do, it is for Christmas projects. So I got more of the iridescent uh, faux snow. I got, sorry, we're just going to show that last. I got, now I have a, one or two Dollarama hauls I have to do, and I got these at Dollarama, which you will see in the video, but these ones are bigger, and I have some projects in mind for these. So I got those, the light bulb ornaments, so remind me of my childhood on our Christmas tree. So I had to get them. I am not a big deco mesh person. However, this is iridescent white. I have something in mind for that, so I only got one roll. Yeah, I'm not a big deco mesh man, fan, but I needed that. So I got that. I got this, these Snugadoo socks and they're like a, feel the softness. Anyway, they're, they're like a glittery red. I just thought they were super cute. So they look cozy and warm. So I got those. I also got these. Stay tuned for that. If you watch coming up, you'll see what these are for, but they're llamas. Uh, I repurchased from last year, bought a bunch of these and whoever I gifted them to loved them. So repurchased for those. And I actually was looking for these the last time and they weren't in yet and I was getting really worried for what's coming up with these. So stay tuned for that. I need to get to 700 subscribers, you guys, for that. So help me get there and you'll know what that's for. Back to Halloween quickly. This is for my DIY, the three witches brooms, I saw them the last time and I didn't get them. So they have them in orange and black and purple. I needed them this time, so I did get them. And, okay. Oh, they opened, uh-oh, okay. So I've sh shown this already, but I got more of the snowflakes, five pieces. Again, I'm all over, all over. I wanna go back to some stickers. So, I got these poppies and not for, I love poppies, but not for what you guys probably think, Wizard of Oz related. So this is for a Wizard of Oz project. Yeah, there for that. 
The vases are cute, and so is this one, which I'll use in something else, but the poppies I, I wanted for Wizard of Oz project. Again, more llamas. You gotta wait till I get to 700 subscribers and holding for that. Stay tuned for that. And I got this. I'm gonna try not to cry when I say this. I got this for a friend for her daughter's journal. And she knows who she is. So that's for Julie Lisa. Cut those for her. Okay. I got these socks for a DIY. I have in mind. Look at them, you guys. They're so, so cute. Look at them. <gasps> Look at the mushrooms. Um, okay. I got some white sand for Christmas. I figured this would mix good with this project I have in mind. I got these galvanized buckets. These are repurchased for me. They're in the wedding section, but I wanted them for some Christmas projects, so I just got two for now. They have them in off-white as well. I wanted the galvanized. And we're getting down to the nitty-gritty. I finally found these, you guys. I was so excited. <gasps> finally found them. Uh, the iridescent beads, you get 45 pieces, so I got two packs, one for myself, one for a friend. Two of the pink, same, iridescent. I love all things iridescent, and I love all things holographic. <laughs> you tell I'm born in the 70s and grew up in the 80s. <laughs> uh, two of the blue. Oh, I meant to get two of the white. I, I will share them with her then. Uh, you get 165 in the white. Anyway, the iridescent white. Oh, sorry, I meant to get, that's for Karen. I meant to get her a pack. I'll share those with you or send you those and get more. Okay, now we're down to food. Uh, if you're not into the food, you can click out. Some of it is for gift baskets and some of it is for DIYs as well. So if you wanna stay and see what it's for, Stay tuned, and if not, I'm just gonna say goodbye to all my crafty DIYers right now. And for the rest of you, thank you everybody, and for the rest of you, let's get into what food I got. So I got, oh no, I think, okay. So I got two of the dill pickle kernels popcorn. My kids love this, but this also makes amazing gift basket uh, gifts for like, movie night theme and everything especially with covid now i should have bought more now that i'm thinking about it but anyway that's for christmas gift giving i don't want to put the food in no, i'm just gonna put it back let's hopefully not i got the uh i think i got two of these maybe not i can never say this right raffaello and this is for a gingerbread house they're gonna make snowball trees so i got three of those to make uh, bushes, snow bushes. I thought they're just easy rather than taking a truffle and rolling it in coconut. These are already done for me. And then these are delicious anyways. So that, and then this is what I was saying came undone. These are for gingerbread house type thing. And I loved the, you can get Kerr suckers cheaper at other places like Walmart and Dollarama, but I loved the colors in these ones. They're almost like, almost like iridescent. So anyway, these are for a gingerbread house project. So I will share what I'm doing. We always do edible ones and I do an, I'm going to be doing a non-edible one. So stay tuned for all that. And now I got this. So I actually used to get my vanilla, pure vanilla at Costco or in the United States at GFS. The last time I was in the United States to get pure vanilla, what, it was $54 US. Costco, it was, I can't remember. It's gone down, I think at Costco. It's been a while since I bought it, which I'm getting into. Can't remember, the last one I bought at Costco, I don't know, say $35. Anyway, vanilla's really, really gone up. Uh, so I make my own now. I buy vanilla beans on Amazon and I just buy vodka at 
the liquor store and I make it in my instant pot you can do it uh, you can do it on the stove if anyone's interested to, in learning how to make your own vanilla I will share that so this is why I'm getting into this I did not buy this imitation vanilla for anything cooking this I'm going to share the project I'm going to do with this and this ground cinnamon again I did not want to use my good cinnamon for the DIY so this is for a DIY paper crafting so that is what that's for you can stay tuned for that so that's why that doesn't have to go back with the food all right we're getting into the last box you guys and this will conclude this haul oh yeah it's so good so good I did not uh, so glad I guess I did not go to uh, I did do it all in one okay my family absolutely loves these Wortman cookies we used to buy, be able to buy them by the cases at the little cheese factory slash, it's like a bulk barn. Um, it's a store, it's really cool. I should actually show you guys pictures of it there. It is so cool. I wonder if they'd let me film in there. Anyway, it is just the coolest place. And I talk about it often with you guys, so maybe I will do that. Anyway, I got the apple turnovers, the raspberry turnovers, everything's $1.25 here in Canada. I got the they had them so the strawberry and the blueberry these are my husband's favorite kind of cookie well those and those maple cream ones but oh, yeah so well and besides homemade sorry store-bought cookies they're his favorite store-bought cookies chocolate chip is his favorite homemade and well, so, okay. oatmeal raisin <laughs> but anyways i'll stop okay i also got two of the kernels white cheddar again gift baskets this kernel stuff is amazing they have it in salt and vinegar I didn't get the salt and vinegar I always get my cooking spray at Costco I just I'm right out and I just while I was there just grabbed this one quick just regular canola oil so I can't say how it is or anything like that but because uh, I buy the Kirkland one but anyway I was there yeah, I did get two Raffaello's again for snowballs for gingerbread house Stuff. Oh, I'm putting stuff in the wrong bags. Oh, here we go. I just, my craft stuff goes downstairs in my craft space and I don't want food down there. So, okay. This was in the clearance section. Um, they expire October 25th. Not that this stuff really goes bad, but I'm not going to gift this. My mom loves these, but I'll get her these closer to Christmas in the good ones. I just got these as a treat. I love them also, the cocoa dusted truffles. I get these for my mom every year. She absolutely loves them. These are just for me for a little treat. Ah, okay, I just put that back in the box. Okay, the rest of this food here is for gingerbread houses and candy related projects for Christmas. So I got a pack of the gumballs and I was at Dollar Tree. So you can get these also at Dollar Dollaramit and I believe they're a dollar there. So your better savings is to get them there. But anyway, I got the bubble gum. I got the mint leaves because they're green for Christmas. No Christmas candies really out. I really wanted to get on that. Some of the stuff doesn't. I'm, it's not. I'm not eating. Uh, the mints. The Andes creme de mint thins. These are really great if you're giving uh, like in mugs and stuff. Uh, these are so good. Those. And the rest is just Dollar Tree brand. Like yeah and the red sour cherry balls oh i love these but anyway for christmas but uh, speaking of that same thing now you can use these in baking as well uh there it was only one of these so that i don't know if that means they're already all gone or there's more coming i don't know but i grabbed it because it was the only one so just the christmas colored uh, candy sprinkles all right, everyone, that concludes my part two of my huge, huge Dollar Tree haul. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. I'd like to thank everyone for the support you've given me over the past, well, for my old subscriber, my long time subscribers. Uh, thank you always, always. And I want to thank my new subscribers for supporting me and giving me a shot. So thank you so much, everybody. If you like what you're seeing, please hit that subscribe button and I will catch you all in another video. Thanks so much, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.